Hello, tested friends <laughs> and family. Uh, Adam Savage here in my cave with a show and tell. Uh, a show and tell of another maker's incredible work. Uh, regular viewers of this channel might remember when uh, a few years ago I went to Nashville. Sorry, excuse me. I went to Detroit, Michigan uh, to Third Man Records where they not only press records, uh, but they record them on original record recording machines. Literally a needle drops onto a blank plate and, and the moment you start making sounds, that needle vibrates and the sound technician says, you are in the groove. Literally, they say, you are in the groove. And I recorded my Brain Candy song written by Ken Pattengale of the Milk Carton Kids um, while on stage on the little stage at Third Man Records. And I was able to do that because of the generous uh, uh, help of Jack White, uh, of the White Stripes and everything else. Jack is a, a you know world famous musician. He is also a world-class maker and designer. Uh, and a few weeks ago, we were chatting back and forth uh, via text and I said, dude, uh, next time you're in town, because I saw he was going to be touring soon, next time you're in town, maybe come by and we can fix my uh, my medical stool together. And I sent him a picture of this stool. Now, this is my favorite shop stool. This is my favorite type of shop stool. It's a, it's a, it is medical. Let's see, who, who, who makes this? Uh, EF Brewer Company. I picked this one up at a garage sale about 20 years ago for five bucks. I bought another one. Uh, about 10 years ago, probably for like a hundred bucks because they don't get cheap. They're not cheap on eBay, but they are like nothing rolls better. And I feel like the grandpa from when I move around here. Um, anyway, I sent Jack a picture of that and said, next time you're in town, help me fix my chair. Because uh, you might not know this, but uh, Jack White, among many other things, was an upholsterer and has actually contributed by uh, telling me about the many tools to this shop. Uh, when I built my Louis Vuitton gun case, uh, the pneumatic gun for the upholstery tax, that, that was directly something I learned about from Jack. I had no idea they made such a thing until I was in his shop in October of 20. Anyway, Jack's response to me saying, let's fix the chair was, dude, just send me that cushion. I'll, I'll cover it myself. No problem. And I was like, all right, man. So I threw it in the mail. Uh, he wrote back, said, I got it. He said, oh, then, then over the next few weeks, I got a couple of texts. I said, hey, sorry, I haven't gotten to the stool. Uh, I've been rehearsing. Sorry, I haven't gotten to the stool. I felt, I, you know, I got a cold. I'm like not chomping at the bit. You know, we all do things in our own time. And then a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was here in the shop on a Sunday, I know, sorry, on a Saturday when the doorbell rang and the package arrived from Third Man. Uh, and Mr. White outdid himself. So I'm gonna show you the chair that he upholstered. Oh, there it is, okay. so. I have to point it down that much? I guess I do. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get down on the level of the uh, chair to, to talk about it. So, look at this thing. First of all, it's beautiful. Second of all, there's a whole bunch of consciousness built into the choice of materials. Uh, let's see here, let's see. Oh. So according to Jack, well, he asked me what my favorite color was and I said orange. So he used orange stitching, orange cross stitching up here. And he said the grid of stitching was uh, symbolic of my planning and layout of experimental methodological design uh, and the, the careful planning I do to my projects. The, uh, the black is actually suede pigskin. On uh, piece, Jack said, the pigskin is in honor of all the pigs that were your experimental subjects of the course of Mythbusters. And then secret on the bottom, he included, oh, this beautiful ray skin. 
this gorgeous orange ray skin. Ray skin is what is used on the uh, 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 handles of samurai swords. Let me just see that I'm getting all this right because I included the note. Let's see. Here is your new throne, sir. There are some small mysteries within. Uh, I used the experimental idea of memory foam. Yes, uh, some of you guys have been noticing the memory foam rising in the time-lapse shots. I have to say, the memory foam is really great for this old, <laughs> this my old ass. Um, I use pink skin leather in, uh, in honor of all your use of pig human analogs. The eye is manta ray, that's here at the bottom. Uh, oh, right, he made an accompanying tape measure. Holy cow. Uh, okay, so first of all, this Lufkin, I don't even know what model number it is. Okay, this Lufkin tape measure blows my mind. I love that it's marked on both sides. Um, its lock is super positive. It's got a co-molded rubberized outer coating on what is probably a reinforced nylon body. It feels nearly bulletproof. Um, a couple of modifications were made. A three for Third Man Records, of course. A 45 uh, adapter, again on the same ray skin. And apparently this outer, this outer ring here is from the drive belt of a turntable. Just freaking fantastic. This is now my go-to tape measure. The, the other tape measures have all been kicked down the stairs. Um, let's see. The orange grid stitching reflects your designing and mapping of projects. And he says, thank you for the inspiration, sir. My friend, thank you for the inspiration from one maker to the other. I appreciate the contribution to the comfort in the cave. Uh, there are, I must tell you, as a maker, there are few lovelier things that one can do than making something for someone else that they will use. It is one of the great pleasures in life. Uh, and I love exercising that pleasure. I also, what a delight to be on the receiving end of that. Um, so yeah, I am moved. I hope you are moved as well. Uh, these stools, if you're wondering whether to get one, oh my God, go get one. They're absolutely fantastic. Jack, thanks. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching this show and tell. Adam Savage in my cave and I will see you next time. Be safe. One of the things I love about this channel is that we don't make how-to videos so much as we make what happened videos. And what almost always happens are mistakes and screw-ups. In fact, they're completely integral to making and honestly to being a person. And to celebrate this, Tested has a new batch of demerit badges for the screw-ups you will encounter in the shop. From left to right, we have touching your paint job, assembling things backwards, losing a tiny screw or part, gluing your fingers together, and smashing your thumb. And frankly, if you haven't done both of these, even if you're not a maker, I just don't feel like you've experienced enough of the world. I'm not saying get out a hammer and smash your thumb, but I will tell you that the blacker your fingernail after the injury, the less it's gonna hurt in the long run. I almost forgot, these make excellent additions to your shop apron, and they are available at tested-store.com.